Okay, so as I promised you guys this morning, I would talk about um, Megafest 2005. Um, and I'm gonna try to get this out um, under 20 minutes because I'm recording. It's February 1st, 4.27 um, p.m. Welcome to Coaching Couch. I wanna talk about real prophetic encounters and real droppings of a mantle and real lights um, and real darkness and real vision, real open vision. Um, so let me tell you what happened. I had me and my sister and, oh, excuse, oh God, I'm gonna have to cover that up. Me and my sister, um, Gigi and Essence. Essence is no longer with us, she died. God rest her and bless her soul. Um, Gigi's still here. She's still preaching in Jersey. I'm still preaching. Crystal's still um, preaching. We were broke. We were poor. I didn't have anything. Um, I borrowed money from my grandma. Um, I was a single mother at the time. Um, and yes, my kid's dad did pay child support and that kind of stuff. But still, I didn't. I wasn't rich. I didn't have money. Um, like that. And so, um, you know, I had bills, I had children to take care of, at the, but I had this call on, from God on my life ever since I was a little girl and I could always see, and I was always drawn to the supernatural. So what happened was Papa Jakes was, and I call him Papa Jakes, but he ain't my papa. I just call him Papa Jakes, but Papa Jakes, that's just what I call him. Um, I don't know why. Um, I just do. Um, but I guess because I've seen him in so many dreams in my life over and over and over and over and over and over again. So anyway, Papa Jake's through these things called Megafest. And okay, so I took the money. My grandma, who was a teacher for 40 years, downtown Ship Elementary School, New Jersey, special education teacher. She came and we didn't have money for our flight tickets. We didn't have all of the money. And we didn't have all of the money for five days in a room in Atlanta. We didn't have it. We just didn't have it. And we really wanted to go. And a lot of times when people throw these big conferences and they do this, they, they do foolish things like um, pay the speakers a million dollars or pay the speakers a hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, instead of saying, listen, I really want to make a global impact. So instead of me paying this one speaker a hundred thousand dollars, I'm gonna pay for 300 or 400 people's tickets in hotel rooms and you could pay them 100,000 or, or, or do that so that they can have an accommodation to come for the word of the Lord. You never do stuff like that. You, 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 you won't do that because you don't have wisdom. But anyway, people like us, we have bills and stuff. We, you know, it, it, it's just a shame, but all right. So anyway, my grandma gave us the money. She had the money, put the money up, I said, I never leave my children with anybody, but for that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave my kids, blah, blah, whatever. Now we were trying to, me and Crystal had already made up our mind, we were going, so we had begged um, Gigi and Essence to go. Essence was like apprehensive, but Gigi was down. So when Gigi was down, Essence wanted to go too. So we was like, okay, so all of us went to Philly the day before and we paid for our tickets, our flight tickets to go to Atlanta. Um, and we did that by faith because we are, we are, and, and, and listen, listen. I said, God, did I pay for my ticket? Wait, I don't want to fabricate anything or lie. I don't even think, mm -mm. I, I, I think, no, I, I don't even know. I don't remember if I paid for my ticket to get a mega fest. I, if I'm not mistaken, y'all gonna really say it's crazy. I think we went there. I know for a fact, Shauna didn't have her money for her ticket. So her, her name was Shauna Goldsboro. Long story, let me her get out. Cause Sean is the one who picked us up from the airport when we got to Atlanta. And Sean is the one who, when we got to the airport, we didn't know where we was gonna stay when we landed. We didn't have money. We didn't have, we only had a little bit of money for food and stuff. We didn't know how we were gonna get around. We didn't have a rental car, we didn't have none. But we were just moving off of faith to get the mega fest to meet God. God met me there. That's why I'm anointed today. Anyway, in some of y'all conferences, I wouldn't go there if they paid me, if they paid me to go there. Cause you ain't got nothing there. You ain't got nothing there but a fornicating false prophet. Um, but anyway, so we went there and um, I didn't have the money. We didn't have the money. And I didn't have the money. My sister didn't have the money. 
We were just two girls from Jersey with a dream and a vision. I was the prophet. She called herself to evangelist. She never had dreams. She never had visions. I had all the visions. I had all the dreams. I had all of the supernatural experiences. I was the one seeing angels, everything. She never could see nothing, never could hear nothing, never knew God in that area. She only, I don't know what she was going through, but it would ain't would never been what I had. All right. And, but she had a little bit of faith to go with me. So we all went, Shauna picked us up from the airport. Like I said, to reiterate, um, my mom called me when we landed and my mom said, listen, um, Christine and Crystal, Shauna Goldsboro is going to be there to pick y'all up from the airport. I was like, come on, Jesus, we didn't even know how we was going to get, we didn't know, we didn't even know how we was going to get to the, the, the dome. We didn't know how we were going to get from the dome of, of Megafest. We didn't, to, to, we, we didn't know how we were going to get to from the airport to the dome. From the airport to the dome. We didn't know how we were going to do anything. So when my mom gave the phone call, she said, and she's going to be out there waiting for y'all in a couple minutes. So get to the exit. I was like, come on, y'all. My mom said, Shauna's going to pick us up. Shauna. Now, Shauna goes, bro. It's like a family member of mine, but I hadn't talked to her for so many years. And to be honest, last time I, I heard from her, I thought she was mad at me because of this guy named Darrell Linder, who she had a baby by. She had a baby by the guy and the baby died. God bless his soul. He was born, stillborn. Um, and I thought that she was mad at me about that. And she knew that Darrell was really, really big on me, had a crush on me. And although we were like close, our families were very close. I thought she was mad at me about that. So to know that she picked me up and invited me to her house and let me stay there in her house and treated me nice and took us out to in dinner and then went to Megafest with us. Huh? We weren't paying no ticket for her. Uh huh? I, we walked right past all of the, all those little slots. Yeah, now that's what I got. That's the truth. God forgive me for swearing. You ain't supposed to swear. We didn't pay nothing for her to get in because we said, uh, uh-uh, you done picked this from the airport. She let us stay with her for the whole week. Drove us back and forth to Megafest the whole time. And then the nights that she didn't go, she showed us how to catch the train. The Malta. It's called the Malta or the Martyr. Yeah, I think it's called the Martyr or the Malta. I don't really remember. I think I'm, I'm, I'm looking at 20 something years ago. 20 something years ago, what, 18, 19 years ago. Um, so, all right. I get to Megafest. And we had needed special tickets because you had one to, yeah, Yvonne Hobbs, I don't remember God. So we had needed special tickets. And so we didn't have money for special tickets um because special tickets what papa jakes had to be a part of aaron's army aaron's army and so uh, well i don't know how me and my sister operate i don't know how Gigi and essence was operating mm, Shande i said i ain't intimidated by nobody up in this place this place belong to god this temple this dome belong to god everything in here belong to god paula wright was preaching juanita bonham was preaching papa jakes was preaching i don't remember who else was gonna be preaching and i didn't really get no 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 blessings out of um, out of a uh, couple of sermons, but when I need a bottom guy up there, I'm about to tell y'all what happened. But anyway, let me. Get, I'm waiting to get to that part. This is in my book. Aliens, alien culture. So y'all, let me tell my story. Y'all flying people to go. Y'all flying places to go see fake people. Mm, I serve a real God. I serve a real God. I ain't scared of now one of you. Now one of you. I know what I'm made of. Anyway, so I get there. We there. And we was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm not standing all the way up in this balcony. I'm not standing all the way up in this balcony. Yo, because Aaron's army was all the way on the floor. Or is it Aaron's army or Valor? What I forget. Aaron's army or Valor's. I just know they had some purple... I just knew that Aaron's army is what I think Papa Jake's thing was. They was, the whole floor was just flooded with people who was in the VIP. No lie. I said, Crystal, I'm not standing up here with Gigi and Essence for real. I'm not doing it. We got to go down. Crystal said, come on. She, she was a thug anyway from back in the day. I mean, I always been a little good sweetheart. That's why God had to make me what I am. He had to change me. He had to beat me up. Allow me to beat up, to make me speak up and be who I am now. Because I wasn't like that. I was just a little sweet little lamb. How you like me now? And so, I hate how I'm stuck on teeth because my lipstick. But anyway, because I wear this lipstick. And it's long wear. And it, it stays on your lips so long, but then it gets on your teeth. But anyway, let me keep going. Okay, so we got there. We were active. 
me and my sister, it was, yo, it was RoboCop ushers. RoboCop ushers. They all had their little badges on, their little stuff. I mean, they was the, they was the, they, they was acting like they was the Marines of, of that sucker. Well, I was like, Crystal, I know I'm anointed. I know God told me to come here. I know what God said to me. Because at first, she was really, she acted like she didn't really want to go at first. I had to pump her, pump her. I had to pump everybody around me to make them go to Megafest, to make them get on the flight to go with me. When you got a man laying up in your bed at night and your man is there, people don't be really beat to go nowhere because they got a man at home. I didn't have no man at home. I was, I was out. Um... Me and my sister got down there on that floor. I swear I walked past that usher. I walked past nine ushers. I walked past every usher that was down there. Like, I didn't care nothing about them. And I said, Shauna, come on too. So the the the, the first time we did it, Shauna wasn't with us. But the second night, Shauna was with us. But anyway, I get down there to the floor. This ain't no lie. Me and my sister get down there. We ain't had none of them special badges. None of them. That time, Vicky Yoy was there. Same shame she got jacked up with that that jacked up apostle man. Something happened with her. But I used to love her voice, love her music. But she was there at the Mega Fest that time. So we get down there. Um, let me save this part.